Hallelujah, I will sing, O oh Lord, I will sing, Hallelujah, O oh Lord, for you are the source of my supply. Lord, I praise and lift you high. I will sing hallelujah, O oh Lord. Hallelujah, I will sing, O oh Lord. I will sing hallelujah, O oh Lord, for you are the source of my supply. Lord, I praise and lift you high. I will sing hallelujah, O oh Lord. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. 
For you are the source of my, of my, of my supply. Lord, I pray. Lord, I pray. Lord, I pray. And I lift you high. And I lift you high. I will. I'm gonna praise and I'll lift you high. I will sing. Hallelujah. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Good morning, church. Good morning. Indeed, it's a blessing just to be in God's house one more time. And for that, I'm grateful. For your consideration, I'll be reading Psalms 118, 1 through the 8th verse. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good, because his mercy endures forever. Let Israel say that his mercy endures forever. Let them that fear the Lord say, his mercy endures forever. I call upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. I hear you, sir. I hear you. Oh, Lord, is on, the, on my side. I will not fear what man can do unto me. My, my, my. The Lord take my part Read the with them that help me. Therefore, shall I see my desires upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. I have read for your consideration Psalms 118 verses 1 through 8. Let us pray. Oh Father. Oh my Father. I was so glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the Lord. Father, I come to you in the ominous manner that I know how. Just thanking you for last night laying down while danger was lurking all around me. But early this morning, bright early this morning, you touched me with a finger of love. 
And as I called on those loved ones that live with me, Father, they answered name by name. And for that, I want to say thank you. Because somebody went home last night. Somebody had a loved one that went home last night. But you know. You know what they need, Father. And Father, every time I turn on the news, I hear about somebody getting shot or somebody doing things they're not supposed to do. But Father, I know you are in control. I want to just thank you for eyes to see. I want to thank you for ears to hear. And I want to thank you for legs just to walk. And I want to thank you for arms just to put around our loved ones and tell them we love them. Thank you, sir, because you didn't have to do it, but you did it anyhow. Father, we need you right now. Some of us need you for one thing, and some of us need you for another. But one thing about it, my father, we all need you. Father, watch over this flock that Pastor Miller lead. Give them what they need to keep holding on to your unchanging hands. Let them understand that you're the same God that delivered the Israelites. You're the same God that can deliver us. Father, we're going through some trying times down here, but nothing that you don't know I just want to say thank you for trying times. It can teach us to keep holding on to your unchanging hands. Because I understand something, my Father, when we lift up our eyes to the hills in which our help coming from. Our help comes from God Almighty. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Keep his family and help them to stand by him and support him, my Father. Because they have realized that job may not be easy. But when he holds on to your unchanging hands, anything is possible. Thank you, sir. In the mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And amen.
this morning, our most gracious Father. Master, we come to you right now. We bow down head and number hearts. Then, Master, we come right now, actually to look on us, O oh God. Father, we thank you, Father, lying down last night, O oh Master, in our early rising. Then, Father, you enable us to touch us with your finger of love and enable our eyes to wake up another new day to see that we never shall see again. Then, Father, you gave us the activity of our limbs, and the blood was still running warm through our veins, O oh God. Father, we want to say thank you. But, Father, you could not have done it, O oh Master. You could have called us on in, O oh God. But, O oh Master, before, because of your mercy and your grace and your love, O oh God, you enable us to go on a little further, O oh God. And, Master, I want to say thank you. And, Father, before I end the further go, my prayer, O oh God, I ask you to look on me right now, O oh God. For there's anything in, in me that's not a can, containing to your will and your way, O oh God. Father, we ask you to move it right now, O oh Master. Cleanse me, purify me in the way that you have me to go, O oh God. And Father, we ask you to cast this out into a sea of forgiveness, where it shall never rise up against me, not just judgment. Father, we thank you right now for all your goodness, all your mercy, O oh Master. Thank you for all what you have done for us, O oh God. And Father, we thank you right now, O oh God, enable us to come back out to the house of wishes once more and again. Father, even though the pandemic is still rolling, O oh God, Father, you still have your church doors open, O oh Master, and I thank you, Lord. And Father, I ask you to move in this place today, O oh God. Father, touch thee and let the anointing go through this place, O oh Master. Father, we praise you, O oh God, we thank you. Master, I can't thank you enough for all what you have done for me. Father, if I had 10,000 tongues, that wouldn't even be enough, oh God. Father, just continue to flow, oh Master. Father, I ask you to look on the bereaved, oh Master, right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask you right now to comfort hearts, oh God. Live heavy burdens, oh Master. We just thank you, Lord. Look on the, the sick, oh Master. And Father, we ask you to bless all the seniors of the Mount Haven Missionary Baptist Church family. Continue to keep them like you always have, oh God. Father, we ask you to bless them upon the Mount Hebron family as a whole, oh God. Continue to use us, oh Master, to your glory and your honor. And Father, let us have love that runs from heart to heart and breath to breath. And Master, let us not lean to our own understanding. But in all our ways, oh God, we will acknowledge you. We praise you, Lord. We just thank you, Lord. Thank you for all what you have done in our life, oh God. Father, and I ask you to let me be a worthy vessel, oh God. Let me be more obedient to your will and to your way, oh Master. We just praise you right now, oh God. And Father, we ask you to look on our pastor, the man of God, oh Master. Continue to bless him. Continue to strengthen him, oh God. Father, whenever he gets weak along the way, oh God, you are there to prop him up. Father, continue to anoint him to preach your uncompromising gospel. Where men and women, boys and girls may come in running, what must I do to be saved? Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord. We glorify you because you have been a mighty good God, oh God. A mighty, mighty, mighty good God, oh God. We thank you right now, oh God. Praise your name. Father, we ask you to look on all the ministers associated here. Father, continue to bless them and their families in the same life matter, oh God. Continue to let them stand forth, stand strong in your word, oh Master. We ask you for our pray for all the auxiliaries as well, oh God. We thank you, and Father, as we go throughout this service, oh, Master, Father, we ask you just lend your Holy Spirit, oh, God. Just let the Spirit flow through and let the Word cut, Father. Let it cut in and out, oh, Master. Let it cut, Lord Jesus. We thank you. We praise you. We give you all the glory and honor because we know that you are worthy of the praise. Father, in all these blessings, I ask in your darling son, Jesus' name. Amen, and thank God. Praise the God who's out of my life, reference throughout. Our pastor, Dr. Max Miller, showing you all you brother preachers that are here, you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Responsive reading The Ascending Christ Mandate to the Apostles, Acts 1 6 through 11. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him 
saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and into all of Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. May God add a blessing to the reader, the hearer, most of the do of his holy word. When the storm of life are raging, stand by me. When the storm of life are raging. Like a ship upon the sea, thou who ruleth wind and water, stand by me. When the storm of life or rages. Stand by me when the storms of life are raging. Like a ship upon the sea, thou who ruleth wind and water, stand, stand by me. When I grow old and feeble, stand by me Lord when I grow All right. old and feeble stand by me when my life becomes a burden Lord, and I'm nearing that cheer, Jordan, thou lily of the valley, stand 
by me When I grow all right, all right, all right. Oh And fever What you want me to do for you? Come on here Lord, stand by me I said when I grow Old and fever I want you to stand by me And when this life Oh, this life becomes a burden What you gonna do? Love when I cross over, I cross over. That chilly Jordan Oh, thy lily Oh, lily Oh, thy lily Oh, thy lily Oh, the lily. 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 Oh, the valley. Oh, the valley. What you want him to do for you? Lord, I want you to stand by me. Stand by me. Stand by me. When I've done the best. I can stand by, stand by, stand by me, Lord. When I've done the best, the best that I can, stand by me, stand by me. When I've done the best that I can. And my friends, they don't understand. Oh, Lily of the valley. Oh, the Lily of the valley. Oh, the Lily of the the valley. What you want to do for you? Stand by, stand by me. When I've done, when I've done the best I can, the best that I can. Stand by, stand by, stand by me. When I've done, when I've done, the best I can. Lord, the best that I can. Stand by. Stand by, stand by me. All oh, my friends, they don't understand. All of my friends, all of my friends, they don't understand. Oh, the lily, oh, oh, the lily. Oh, oh, the lily. Oh, the lily. Oh, the lily. Of the valley. Stand. Stand by me. Stand by me. Stand by me. Stand by me. Stand.
Anybody here know him? Let me. Do you know he's a hard regular? Let me. Do you know he's a mind thinker? Let me. Do you know that he can do Let it? Let me. All you got to do is call him. Let me. And Jesus will do it. Let me. Do anybody here know him? Let me. Have you ever met him? I can tell you about it. Because he picked me up. Bad me. And he turned me around. Bad me. He plays my beat. Bad me. On solid ground. Bad me. Oh, I want you to stand by me, Jesus. Bad me. Lord, I want you to stand by me. Bad me. Never leave me, Jesus. Bad just keep on standing here, Lord. Stand by me. Oh, you know I'm your child. Stand by me. And I'm calling you now. Stand by me. I want you to just come. Stand by me. I want you to stand. Stand by me. Come go with me, Jesus. Stand by me. I'm down in this old world. Stand by me. This old sinful world. Stand straight. And I need you, Jesus. Stand straight. I want you to stand. Stand straight. Stand right here with me, Lord. Stand straight. Stand straight. If I would go. Stand by me. Stand. You would go with me. me. Come on, go, Lord. Stand by me. I want you to stand with me. Stand. Lord, I want you to stand by me. Lord, I want you to stand by me. I want you to stand by me. Stand by me, Jesus. Stand by me right now, Lord. Oh, Lord. Lord, you know my heart now. Stand. Thou who knows everything. Stand. Thou who rules wind and water. Stand. Thou the lily of the valley. Stand. The mighty king. Stand. The king of kings. Stand. Stand. Come on, go with me, Jesus. Stand. Stand. I want you to stand. 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 Lord, when I get old. Stand. Stand. Lord, when I get fever.
know he's all right. I hope somebody feeling it, because I feel pretty good right now. right then. God is doing something wonderful in me. Yes, he is. God is doing something wonderful in me. Yes, he is. Something awesome. Something awesome and incredible. Whoa. That only he would only get the glory. God. God is doing something wonderful, incredible, and awesome. God is doing something wonderful in me. You better say it one more time. God is doing something wonderful in me. Let him do it for you. God is doing. God is doing something wonderful in me. Oh, yeah. Something awesome and incredible. Nobody but him. Let it only get the glory. God is doing something wonderful, incredible and awesome. God is doing something wonderful. In me, come on, Brother Paul, and say, Take your time. God is doing something wonderful in me. Yes, He is. God Don't you is want to do something for you? Something wonderful in me. Something awesome. Something awesome and incredible. But only He, only He can get the glory. God is doing something. Wonderful, incredible, and awesome. God is doing something wonderful in me. Now, now he gonna say that one more time. But how many of you want the Lord to do something wonderful in your life? Hey, hey. How many of you out there want the Lord to do something wonderful? Let's go. God is doing something wonderful, something wonderful in me. In me. God is doing something wonderful, wonderful in me. Something oh, God, something awesome and incredible. Only He, only He can get the glory. God is doing something wonderful. Incredible and awesome. Yes, he is. God is doing. 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 God is doing.
say it again. So many wonderful things about Jesus. About Jesus. So many, so, so many, many wonderful things about him. His name, his name is wonderful. He's a wonderful crown. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. He's a wonderful. He's a wonderful crown. He is a mighty God. He is a mighty God. He is. He is a mighty God. He is a mighty. He is a mighty God. He is. He is a mighty. Everlasting. 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 Thank God for our brothers. Come on, let's give it up for them on today. We thank God for what they have rendered to us on today. What a mighty God we serve. And again, we thank God for our brothers. And Lord, have mercy. I mean, all in rehearsal. All in rehearsal. We thank God for them. Thank God for our prayers as well. Let's thank God. Sister Solomon and Brother Proctor, and to all of you that are here, uh, my brother, Brother Norman Bess, and his wife, who was in the house uh, with us. I told Sister Miller, that looked like Norman Bess. She said, well, no, that ain't Norman. I had to go back up there and tell her. When I got and saw them eyes looking in my eyes, I said, that's my brother. That's Norman Bess. So we thank God for, for him. Thank God for all of you that are here with us on today.
to to thee no of sickness, all sorts of pain. I have to do this one for me. Be Oh! 
But the words of God will last forever. Thank God for all that are on and let me send out a special salute right now to uh, my auntie, Sister Marcia Jackson, and my cousin, my sister Nia Butler on with us on today and to all of you that are on Zoom and Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, we thank God for your presence. We thank God for you tuning in with us and to us while we sing praises to a God that knows everything. Let me thank God for our visitors as well as they have come in the house. Let us continue to Pray for our little cousin, uh, Brother Kirby's cousin. Let's continue to pray for her. Uh, there's a word from the Lord on today. And that word is found in the 40th chapter of the book of Isaiah. We want to read just one verse, though. And it's not the verse that you are used to turn into. But this time we want to read verse number 29, chapter 40, in the book of Isaiah, verse number 29. Sister Betty Sims told me to repeat it again. Isaiah chapter 40, verse number 29. He giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might. He increaseth strength. Let me say that again, somebody. You missed your shout this morning already. He gives power to the faint and the weary. He energizes those who are tired of being sick and tired. And to him that has no might, he increases the strength. He gives a fresh start of strength to the dropouts that have no might. And he gives them I want to talk about today God's staying and sustaining power. God's staying and sustaining power. Every child of God ought to know that God has staying power. God has staying power along with sustaining power. If the saints that were before us were still here, they would let us know that they know God has staying power because he keeps on staying with them. Somebody had an old grandma, old grandpa that didn't have much money, that had limited 
or no education. But they had enough sense to know that God's power was a staying power. Sister Garner, they had so much sense to know that, that they began to pray in the morning for breakfast, knowing that the cupboard was bad. But it just seemed like as they began to lift up their voices, there would always be enough to eat with a little to spare. And, 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 and they did that because they understood that God always has staying power. God has power to do whatever he wants to do because he is God all by himself. And, and, and what I've come to realize, Brother Hill, is that God knows how to handle his business. He does not need your help, nor does he need my assistance. And that God was here when we got here. And now this all said and done, it'll still be God. God, God has so much staying power that, that somebody in the audience today, no matter what campus you're on with us, you can put it in your chatter, in your feet, or you can just wave at me that you tried him enough to know that God's power is a staying power. It's a staying power that not only, Brother Porter, does it stay with us and stick with us like meat on your bone, but God has a power, Sister Land, that's a sustaining power that gives me power to keep on keeping on because of who holds my hand. God is, has the power to let us do whatever he wants us to do. And let me tell you, God has the power to interrupt our regular scheduled program called life whenever he wants to. But let me tell you, it does not mean that that God is lacking any power. What it demonstrates is that God can govern us when all hell has broken loose. God has a way. Because he has so much power. After all God has created. After all he has made. None of us was ever asked to lend a helping hand. God who has the staying power has sustaining power that every morning the sun rises in the east. God never called in late for the sun to stay hidden. And God never left too early before the sun come down. And can I tell you, if you never have a watch, a compass, or nothing that'll tell you what time it is. God has such a keeping and staying and sustaining power that whenever it's 12 noon, the sun is right over here. God, God has the power that, 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 that even before any of us had accepted him, he was already God. And can I go ahead and drop this in your laps for free and tell you that God is not only God, but God is also good. I wish I had about 30 folk that would go ahead and let me know that you know that God is good. That you go ahead and place it right there. That you in the house, you'll go ahead and wave at me. And now let me go ahead and tell you, if God have not been good to you, you keep your hand down. But if God has been good to you, if God has made a way for you, you deserve to go ahead and wave your hand. Let me go ahead and tell you, sometimes we have to wave both hands because of God's goodness and his mercy. He's both good and he's both God and he has Stay in power. He has, he has power. And in circumstances within us, let's not get caught up like Israel. Instead of praising the Lord, the nation of Israel was complaining to him. That he acted as though he did not know their situation. Can I go ahead and backtrack and fast forward quickly and tell you, even in the United States of America, even in Houston, Texas, even in the Mount Hebron Church, there are some folk that act like God don't know what's going on. That there's some folk that instead of praising the Lord that you're still here, you're complaining about having to stay at home. Let me go ahead and tell you, if you ever use your head for more than a hat rack, you'll understand God have you staying at home so you can still be here. Instead of complaining about how God is allowing this 
pandemic to continue. Instead of complaining about God is not doing what God normally does. Somebody ought to go ahead and wave at me that every morning he's been waking you up. Every morning you've been having food on your table. And I need somebody that'll wave at me that this morning it took you longer than normal because you had so many clothes you didn't know what you were going to wear. God still has staying power. And instead of complaining, we ought to start praising God. Somebody before this message is over ought to not mind running up and down where you are because of the goodness and the staying power of an all-wise God. You do know God is wise, don't you? He's so wise that he don't have to get sliced up to be three in one. He's God the Father. He's God the Son. And he's God, the Holy Spirit. And my grandma would not say Holy Spirit. She'll say the Holy Ghost. And some of you don't like the Holy Ghost no more, but I want to let you know it's the Holy Ghost that moves us. I say God is wise. He's so wise that he's omnipotent. He's so wise he's omniscient. And he's so wise that he don't have to go anywhere, never wear no glasses and know where everybody is. He's everywhere. At the same time, anybody know he's everywhere? At the same time, God is with us right now. Can I go ahead and tell you? He's in front of me. He's behind me. On my left, on my right, God is everywhere. Because he has supernatural powers. You do know he has supernatural powers, don't you? So let me tell you, God knows our situation. And instead of seeing the door open, Many of us, like the Jews, saw the long road ahead. Can I go ahead and tell you, we've been in confinement for over a year now. And some folk can't wait to come back to church. And the problem is not coming back to church. The problem is when you have a new heart when you get here. Because you see the pandemic as a long road. But can I go ahead and tell you, Reverend Baptiste, I have to go ahead And tell the Lord, thank you for the pandemic. Not because of the lives that were lost. But Brother Porter, he brought me closer to him. I got to thank him for the open door. Then I learned to study more. I said, I got to thank him for the open door. Because I got tied up with my family. And there are some things that if the pandemic had not come, I would not be doing right now. Brother Sharda, can I tell you, with the pandemic, I learned how to grow my own vegetables. And I don't have to eat that poison that's coming out the stores. I learned that I still had a little country in this city, boy. That I learned how to raise hay. In other words, if everything else shut down, I still know how to make. Can I go ahead and park right there and tell you, God will provide. Because he's provided for me. And let me go ahead and tell you, I know I'm not in this place by myself that God has provided for you. That even some of you are able to work from home. And you didn't want to get up early anyway. And God made a way for you not have to switch jobs, but jobs switch you. Now they pay you to stay at home when you wanted to be a stay-at-home grandma. I tell you, God has staying power. That if we understand and all all we have to do is praise God for where we are. Because God is still good. But still there are so many that complain that they did not have strength for the journey. Let me go ahead and pump right there and put this as another point. Some of you all are wondering when we're coming back to church. And God is wondering when you're going to have church where you are. Some of you are wondering when we're going to be able to put our clothes back on. Let me go ahead and drop this in your lap. Sometimes you ought to want to put on church clothes just to walk around the house and tell the Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you for another day's journey. Lord, thank you for waking me up this morning. Lord, I just put on my church clothes. Get down on my knees and pray. I just want you to know, Lord, that even though I'm not in the building, the church is on the inside. 
They acted as if God was asking them to do the impossible. But God knows how we feel. And he knows how we fear. And he is adequate to meet our every need. And I believe that's why V. Michael McKay sung next song, He Will Meet Our Every Need. Because God knows how to strengthen us. And can I go ahead and tell you, we can never obey God in our own strength. Stop trying to handle the pandemic on your own. That's why you get so restless when you're in the house. Because you're trying to handle being confined on your own. But I dare you to start praying for some more strength. I dare you to ask the Lord to show you what your purpose is. Why in the world do you have me sitting down at the house? Because God will show you that he's still God. And we can always trust him to provide the strength we need. Is there anybody other than me that you've been weak and God has strengthened you? That you've been sick? You did not know when you start feeling better. But you start looking back a few hours afterwards and say, I feel pretty good. And I tell you, there are some Sundays I really don't feel well. But because I know God has staying power, because I know God has sustaining power. The only thing I say is somebody get me to the pulpit. Because I know that God has pulpit power. That he's able to pull me up out of the pit and strengthen me when I'm weak. And I believe that's why the song said yes. Jesus loves me. Because when I'm weak, he is strong. But I'm getting ready to give you three quick ones. As I hurry to my close, you know that God has staying power. When you can call on him late in the midnight hour. When you can call him in your time of distress. And God answers your call and your prayer. I think I need about 25 folk starting with Sister Sattler. And don't mind waving at me. When you know in your time of distress. When you call on God. God answered your call. I call on Sister Sally because she had a grandbaby. That while she was in high school. Healthy and everything going well. But all of a sudden, one day, this track star collapsed and needed some heart procedures and nobody knew if the child was going to live but Sister Sally called on the name of the Lord and I come out to tell you that baby is not only doing well but she serves in the military today don't tell me what the Lord can't do and I need somebody else that you've been here before, that you've been down in a time of sorrow. But you will admit that God answered your prayer. And let me tell you another point. When you thought that God had forgotten you or he had forsaken you. And I know you've been holy all your life. And you really don't want to admit it. But I have to go ahead and tell you. Reverend White, there have been some times in my life that I really thought God had forgotten who I was. I wondered, God, where are you when I needed you the most? And God, why are you letting me go through all of this sickness in the hospital, out of the hospital, one illness to another? And Lord, evidently, you forgot that you don't want to call me to preach. Because if you call me to preach, how in the world can I preach sitting down or laying down? But I didn't realize that God was there all the time. And when I thought that he had forsaken me, 
the Lord had not forgotten or forsaken me. But the Lord was preparing me for my journey. And now I am able to talk to other people who are going through the sickness. And I can sing the song that I've been through the storm and the rain. But I thank God that I made it. If you ask me how, I don't know. But I thank God that I made it. And I wish I had somebody who will testify and admit their hands being at least one situation there's been one circumstance in this being in your life that you actually wondered and he even had a brief second that the Lord, the Lord had left you to fend for yourself and when you were bound uh, to throw in the towel. God, uh, all by himself. You realize just in the nick of time that God had been there all the time. Is there anybody uh, in the house today that don't mind uh, letting your left hand me your right hand when I tell you that God is still a good God and God is not only a good God but God is also a God that has sustaining power and I know that God is still an awesome God because even though the northern kingdom had already been exiled and Assyria thrown up, they had the northern kingdom in control. God was watching over the few believers that remained true to him. And all I'm trying to tell you is that everybody that come to church does not come for church. But there are a few of us that still trust in God. And I need somebody that you trust in God that don't mind shouting God's name and I got to tell you that not only was God watching over the believers but I want you to know don't you dare get too caught up with COVID-19 don't you think that God does not see all of this voter suppression and surely don't you believe that God does not know about the oppression of his people but what I want you to know uh, don't look at the road down the street uh, but you can go ahead and shout uh, because God is still good uh, even though uh, it seems like oppression uh, comes on every hand uh, I got to give you uh, some shouting news today uh, I'm on my way uh, out of here but I gotta get you to shout uh, and my shouting piece today uh, is God is still uh, on the throne is there anybody here that knows that God is still on the throne whatever you do don't you dare leave God out wherever you go remember God is already there I got to leave you and may the Lord bless you Holy Ghost good my last point to you today and when you know that God has uh, stay in power because he just uh, keeps on uh, making a way for me uh, God 
God keeps on blessing me. Is there anybody here that know the Lord have blessed you? I say, is there anybody here that know the Lord keeps on making a way for you? I got to tell somebody, if we trust in God, he will be there. And those who wait on him, the Lord is assured us, he'll give us renewed strength. I come by to tell you, if we wait on him, God will make a way somehow. Is there anybody? in the house that know that God will make a way for you. Is there anybody in the house today that knows that God has already made a way? I'm out of here and I got to tell you but those who wait on the Lord, who expect the Lord, who look for his blessings and hope in him shall change and renew their strength. I come to tell you, they will no longer run with their heads down, but they shall lift up and mount up on eagles' wings. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint, but I come to tell you, on my way to my seat, the reason why I know the Lord has been good, because one Friday on a hill Calvary. He died, didn't he die? Mm-hmm. But I come to tell you, death is not always the end. Because three days later, bright early on the third day morning, with all power in his hand, somebody here that you know you got power because God gave it to you. If you got power, you ought to wave your hand if you got power you ought to stand on your feet if you got power you ought to shout glory say glory but three days later with all power in his hand he got up didn't he get up say yeah say yeah Wody, 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 put food on your tail. Wody, 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 put clothes on your back. Wody, 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 say yeah, say yeah, say yeah, ah, yeah. I know he's alright. God. God has staying, which means he'll keep it right there. But he has sustaining, which means when I go from here to there, he still has power. He has power when I'm stationary, but he has power when I'm on the move. God has so much power. That the fastest plane, the fastest jet, is no match for his speed. And the strongest locomotive. no match for God. Somebody else knows today 
that you would not even be here. I, I need you to just pause right quick and place it in your feet. If you know that he has staying and sustaining power, place it in your chest. Put it in your I am, your DM. And let me say this to you. When your soul is anchored, when you know you can hold on, no matter how strong the wind or the waves, It does not matter what folks say. It does not matter how it seems. It doesn't matter what CNN says, ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox News. What matters is my soul is anchored. Which informed me everybody can't get healed on this side. Some folk have to die in order to get healed. This is our invitation to you today. Would you come to us? Though the storms keep on raging in my life. And sometimes it's hard. Anybody know it's hard to tell the nights from day. Still that hope that lies within is reassured. As I keep my eyes upon the distant shore, I know he'll lead me safely to that blessed place he has prepared. But if the storm don't see, and if the your day to come. It is ours to extend. Yours to accept. Yours to reject. If you're on our Zoom location and you would like to join today, we ask that you will put it in your chat that today is my day. I want to join today. I don't want to wait until we're back open fully. I want to join today because I realize that God has stay in power. If you're on our Facebook, 
put it in your eye. You say, Pastor, I know you can't see me. But I know you're going to read it. And today, I've made my choice. We'll get in touch with you. Insta, we want to let you know that we see you out there. And we know you're on and we appreciate that maybe you want to give your life to Christ. Maybe there are some that had left that want to come back home. We would love to have you. We ask that you would make us your choice. And then we say to our YouTube, we want to go ahead and give you the phone number just in case you meet a challenge and cannot make it to let us know you want to join. For all, all four of our locations, we want you to know you can dial 713-733-9170. 713-733-9170. It's always to extend to you. You must accept the reject. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Come on, all over this building, let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise again. We thank God for you. We thank God for our music ministry. Thank God for them. Thank God for our video and media ministry. We thank God for the three upstairs, the two downstairs. Teamwork makes the dream work. Again, we thank God for all that are here on today. May God continue to bless you. May God continue to cover you and may God continue to keep you. And then to Sister Cutler, we thank God for you for coming on over here today. 90 plus and still looking good. We thank God for, for you. Amen. Uh, we know now it's time for our gibletory period. It's time for us to give uh, for those that will be bringing your tithes and your offering by. Uh, Brother Fisher and Brother Proctor will be in the back as soon as the benediction is over. Uh, we ask that you would come this way as soon. Do, do not leave your homes before the benediction. Once the benediction is over, we ask that you, those of you that want to bring hard copies, that you would go right ahead and come this way. Uh, many of you have already hit Giblify. We thank God for you with your Giblify. Uh, some are hitting Giblify right now, and I thank God for you. Uh, the Mount Hebron Missionary Baptist Church, Houston, Texas, will be where you will find us on Giblify. And then we also want you to know that we uh, have a cash app. Cash app is dollar sign, the Mount 7817. Dollar sign, the Mount 7817. We thank God for those that have already given. Uh, thank God for you that are hitting it right now while we're in our offering, our tithes and our offering. Let me say this to you. A person that never gives to God will always be in want. A person that cheats God will always feel cheated. A person that does not realize that you only have because God gave it to you. You will always get what you always got if you always do what you've always done. If you've been just given 10% for 30 years, that's why you only benefit 10%. God is a God that you can't beat him giving. But you ought to make sure that he's acceptable to what you're giving. I am under the impression that some are saying God knows my heart. Well, God not only knows our heart, but he knows our pocketbooks. So we want to make sure that you have an opportunity. Lord, how we thank you. We thank you for taking the little that we give and that you multiply that it's a whole lot. And that, Lord, that we use it for the ongoing of thine kingdom. 
Lord, we do kingdom work and ministry for the church to continue to flourish. Thank you for those that have already given. Thank you for those that are giving right now. And touch the hearts of those that are not giving. Not those that can't give, but those that are not giving. Touch their hearts that the next time they have this opportunity of worship by giving, that they would jump on board. We ask this in the matchless, majestic, and masterful name of Jesus and for his sake. Amen. We thank God for you. Again, to each and every one of you, to God be the glory for all of the things that he has done. Um, I think I was supposed to do something. I should have done it earlier, but we'll do it now, and then we're ready to get out of here. Um, right up the street, 8109 Cullen, right, right up the street, about three blocks down. Heritage Durable Medical Equipment has reopened and they have all sorts of mobility equipment, respiratory equipment, wound care, and bath safety equipment. If you're interested and you need one of these or you know a senior that may need these orthopedic supplies, home care, such as hospital beds, feeding table, higher lifts, braces, splints, transport chairs, wheelchairs, walkers, canes, um, masks, uh, CPAP masks and accessories, um, trait care kits, wound gel, uh, shower chairs, and transfer benches and raised toilet seats and all of that. If you know some seniors or some, it don't have to just be a senior, someone that needs this uh, I think, Brother Stillwell, did you put them in the foyer? Okay, you all can see Brother Stillwell, and um, he will make sure that you receive one of these if you know someone. Again, may God bless you. May God keep you is our prayer. Come on, let's get out of here. As Reverend White comes to dismiss us, we will get out of here. Good to see Reverend Jackson uh, as well. And uh, to Sister Donna and Sister Lily Moore. I, I, I don't know where she's going, but I have to keep up with her so I can find out where she's going. Sister Shorter, good to see you as well. Come on, will y'all help me this time? Come on, help me. Pray God from whom all Present you faultless for the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be it glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. Let us all rejoice by saying, Oh.